What's up everybody? So it is the middle of winter now. It is cold out. It is rainy, snowy, just bad weather. And I don't really like to be outside this time of year. So thought today would be a fun day to go check out a mall I've never been to. I'm at Exton Square in Exton, Pennsylvania. And I've heard this mall is kind of dead. So I kind of want to go check it out, see what it's like. So I've never been here before. Should be pretty cool. Come with me. So as you can see, this mall actually is shaped like a square with Macy's anchor in the center, which is kind of an unusual design. Normally they have anchors just on the ends of the mall. The only other mall I've seen designed like that is Garden State Plaza, but they've turned their center anchor into smaller stores. So we got a Sears, which is not open. We got Boscob's, and this was J.C. Penney, and the bottom floor is now a round one arcade. Wow, so there is a lot of closed stores here at this mall. Just this whole space right here. It just doesn't seem like there's much of anything open. But look at these beautiful fake mall plants. I think those are great. Uh, what do we have here? It's a closed airy. Seems like most of these places have the um, windows blocked out so we can't really see inside. This is an interesting looking store with a big circular window here. Does anybody know what this one was? Doesn't look like we're gonna get a look inside. Oh well. And here we have the closed Zoomies. I think it's Zoomies or is it Zoomias? I don't know. And we're gonna get a look inside here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Check that out. Let's look at all the stickers and stuff on the desk. Yeah, so this Macy's and the Boscoms are the only anchors still open. And right here, we have the former JCPenney, and it looks like we can get a look inside. Let's see what remains. Not much, but you still got that walkway, which is kind of cool looking. And over here, it might be a little hard to see, but they still have that Arizona looking backdrop right there. So one of the big reasons why this mall in particular is struggling so much is because it's one of several malls that are very close to the King of Prussia Mall, which is one of the largest and most successful in the country. So the other malls nearby, they're just not doing very well at all. So right here we have some kind of little bar or restaurant that is closed up and it looks like it's still got a lot of stuff in here. Check that out. Got all the stools and everything still there. Yep, check that out. So it looks like in some of these empty stores they have um, like robotics leagues, like stuff for kids to come, make robots and compete and stuff, which is uh, a good use of this space. Something fun and educational for the kids. How long do you think all this candy has been sitting in there? Oh, that is so gross. <laughs> so here we are in the food court and this has got to be the most gorgeous food court I have ever seen in a mall. Just look at this place. This is beautiful. And everything's closed. <laughs> this is sad. I gotta say, this, this is a very attractive mall in terms of design, architecture. It's a real shame. Here we got a closed gyro place. And just row after row of vacant stores. And just look at them all. And just over on the other side too. Looks like they got some buckets all throughout here just to catch some roof leaks. I guess that's uh, bound to happen anywhere you are. And I gotta say, this mall is probably one of the most visually appealing malls I've been to in terms of like architecture and look. Um, 
it's a modern mall. I know it's been recently renovated and it still looks good, but it's a shame just so many stores are closed in it. Wonder how long this mall is going to survive. It's uh it's not doing well at all. This is an interesting looking storefront. Does anybody know what this one was? Let's see if we can take a look inside. Oh yeah. Looks like it must have been maybe a clothing shop or something. I really don't know. And so this looks like it must have been an old help desk. And here's one for you. Check out that old Sears shopping cart. I'll close Charlotte Russe. I don't know what this was, but we can get a good look inside. Uh, what was this? Was this maybe Foot Locker or a finish line? Looks like it could have been one of those stores. And right here, we can see a fountain, which has been converted over to a planter. The fate that awaits so many mall fountains out there. But at least it's a nice looking planter. Although, it is a little past time for these poinsettias. We are into February now, but they're still here. Nice looking anyhow. And here we got a closed Hollister. Looking like a whole house right here. And right here we have the closed Sears. Let's take a look inside. Look at those escalators. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and right here we have Round One Amusements, which is a pretty cool looking arcade, and it's, I guess, one of the few things keeping this mall going right now. Let's go check this place out. Oh, it is loud in here. Oh, but just look at all these games. Looks like so much fun. A lot like uh, Dave & Buster's. Not really a retro arcade, more of a modern type, type arcade. But I like these too, you know? They're a lot of fun. This is a really, really big arcade. This is much bigger than I'd say your average Dave & Buster's. Oh, look at these. I have never seen anything like that before. We got this one, that's a classic. Just look at that big old Halo game. I've never seen that. They really have a lot of games in here. This is pretty sweet, I gotta say. So it looks like they have a lot of games here that are actually imported from Japan. That is really neat. Most arcades I've been to don't have that. I'm very impressed by this place. And they have all these here, which are some sort of uh, photo booth. I don't know if these are like a game or just like something where you can, you know, take pictures in front of backgrounds or something. That's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, look at all these. Oh, and this is really awesome. They have these uh, Japanese style cabinets with all kinds of old fighting games on them that you, I guess you can play competitively, I'm not sure. But that's so cool. Check that out. So that's gonna do it for Exton Square Mall. Really nice looking mall, and it's a shame it's so dead. Um, you know, I've been to dead malls that just look like trash, but this place was just, it was so nice. It was clean and beautiful inside. It's just, everything was closed. So I hope they can bounce back. Will they be able to? Who knows? But my name is Ray, and I hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching.